Okay, so to get the Google Map API key, first of all, we have to do a search on Google Developer Console. So once we go there, click here, right? Just uh, check this and agree. All right, so now we are in. So first off, we have to create a project. Let's say my Google Map, and we can leave this as is, no uh, organization. And we can hit Create. It's gonna take a little bit of time. And once it does, we click on Select Project. And we immediately come here and we find APIs and services. Click on that. Okay. So from here, okay, now from here, we just hit this button, enable APIs and services. And once we get here, let me make it a little bit larger. Okay. So here uh, we can actually search for what we're looking for. But here we can already see that uh, maps.javascript API uh, is already here. So we just click on that. It, and it's going to ask us first to enable that API. So let's enable it. Okay, so account information, agree and continue. Okay, so this is where we can be stuck because at this point, you're gonna be required to put in a payment method of some kind, like a credit card or whatever. Uh, but uh, if you do that, they will let you, uh, you know, move forward for free. Uh, I mean, basically, it's, they're not gonna charge you anything and they're gonna give you a $200 credit, uh, sorry, $300 credit as it says here. Uh, and, uh, you know, after lots and lots of usage, you may not even touch that limit per month. So you can actually keep going, uh, you know, following this, this path, right? So since I'm not gonna start over, I already have an account. So from this point on, I'm gonna go ahead and use my account to show the rest. All right, so let's move on. Okay, so at this point, if you followed that same path, you entered in your uh, credit card number, and uh, move forward with the start button, you would have ended up in a place like this. Uh, you wouldn't have any projects, but I do uh, because I created them before. So here I'm gonna just go ahead and create a fresh one. I Google that. And keep it as is and create. And it's gonna be created right here. All right, so now that it, it is created, so I'm going to hit select project. So after they have your billing information and everything, this is what the dashboard is going to look like. And from here, we will go to APIs and services. And enable APIs. And we already have the uh, Maps JavaScript API that we saw before. We click on it. And we enable it. And boom. We are assigned an API key. Now, this is something you're going to copy and go ahead and save it somewhere. So now go to Let's go to Google Map API platform. Restrictions, we're probably not gonna have any restrictions, maybe later. Okay, so now that we're here, we're gonna just hit the button enable API. And it is now ready. So if you look at, if you click here, enter address, and you can actually type in an address and you can start using your Google Map using this API key you just collected. Now you can use it anywhere in any plugin or any website that you may need to use the Google map for. 
All right, so now that we have our API key, uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, try to use it in a, a plugin like uh, WP Store Locator. So here they're asking actually for two of them, browser key and the server key. So this one, the first one we got from the Google Map API, this is going to be our browser key. So we're going to copy this, paste it right here. Now we have to go find the server key. To do that, we have to go back to the console. Okay, so we are back at the console. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this APIs and services and library. As you can see, this is the one we used before. But to get the server key, we're going to have to use another library, which is Geo Coding API. Right, so now let's go to the Google Geocoding API. And here, if you are here for the first time, instead of manage, it's going to tell you enable. Once you hit enable, then you're going to get a manage button. In my case, I already have it. So I'm going to click manage. And I'm going to go to keys and credentials. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and try to create credential and API key. After a little bit, it's going to give me the server key. So this is going to be my server key. So I'm going to copy it and go back. All right, let's paste that. And once we do, we're going to try to validate the keys, show response. All right. So it's telling me no problem with the server key, but it does have a problem with my browser key, which is this one. Still, this is red. So let's investigate a little bit. Uh, it's telling me to press Control Shift J, Control Shift J, and this brings us to this uh, screen right here, which is pretty much the browser console and here it is actually telling me that uh, it has a problem and it's telling me to go to the no account maps.no account so i know exactly what this is because recently unfortunately my uh, the credit card that i used to create this account that has expired so i'm just showing this to you just in case you need to troubleshoot it this is how you're going to do it so i already know that um, what my problem is, I'm just going to have to, you know, get my new card in there. But other than that, this is a totally a valid way to doing things. And then what you're going to do, you're going to hit save changes. And once you do, your WP Store Locator plugin should be working fine. Okay, so, so now that we have everything set up, let's give it a shot anyway, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and try to open a new store. Okay. And here we're going to try to put an address in there, 2657 City Alpharetta, Great Georgia, zip code 30004, country USA. All right, so now that we have it, so let's see what this guy bring up, right? Review location. Boom, there you go. That's exactly where I used to live in Atlanta, Georgia, actually Alfreda, Georgia. So, and I know exactly this is the correct address because we used to have this Costco right there, right in front of my house. So, looks like we have successfully collected our Google API keys and configured our WP Store Locator plugin. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.